Culinary Management is joining me in studio. Now, with all of this hot weather, we need to start looking at lighter meals. She's going to tell us how to make a strawberry, feta, and sesame seed salad to die for. Hello. Hi. I'm very excited to see this salad. I love strawberries and salads. Good. And for me, when I was thinking about, you know, I've always got to come up with new salads. We are heading into hotter weather. Mm -hmm. um, it's always interesting to find fruits that do work well in salads, that work with a more savory bite of a lettuce leaf, that you can pair with something like black pepper. And strawberries, black pepper, and balsamic vinegar are very good friends, um, and so hence the birth of the salad. You would never so, think that strawberries would go well with black pepper. And you they do. And also then you've got the contrast of the white against the red on the mm. green. So for me, it just it's, it's a visually pleasing salad, but I also know that the flavor profiles are going to pair yeah. really well. And it's really, really simple to put together. And then the sesame seeds, again, just add a bit of crunch, but there's also that little bit of oil that adds a different flavor in your mm. mouth. So everything just seems to work really well together. Salads should be visually pleasing, I think, especially in the summer weather when your guests come over. You want to have those wonderful colors there with your wine. It's going to be really look cool. like the most um, perfect hostess when they do come over. Yeah, so that's the idea. <laughs> How do we get started? So it's really simple. I would use any mix of leaves that are of the baby variety. I'm just going to fish out some extra rocket and watercress because okay. those are the ones you want to have predominantly on the plate. Why is that? Your rocket has itself and your water, your has got a slightly peppery bite. So it's right. again just keeping those the dominant flavors okay. running through. And I also just really like the way they tend to curl. So I'm going to make mm. sure those are the ones that stick out the most. I'm plating this, as you can see, on a board. Again, I was just it's just, it's, again, it's just a visual representation. You can absolutely do this on a plate, but I like the way the colors contrast. Again, salad's natural, so that wood works for me. And then strawberries, which I've taken the tops off, and we want to get some of them also just to sit off the salad. I really love that you've decided to place this on a board. You can already see that the colors pop so much more. And if you are entertaining for a large group and you do happen to have long boards, you can actually just do a big board for the middle of the table, which for me, food is about sharing and, and yeah. kind of caring. So it's quite nice if everyone can dish up off one big serving platter. And you can actually do that with anything you're doing. Plate it all in one and let on everyone one. kind of dig in. So that should be nice. It also encourages ways. conversation at dinner. It does, yeah. yeah. Just don't fight over the food. <laughs> but um, it's always a good idea. And then we want to crumble up this feta quite finely. Okay. Because we want it to start to actually work its way into the leaves. And we want to look for the bits that have the most black peppercorns in them. And again, just let this kind of fall off. So this is feta with black peppercorns it's already, already in it. It's already got black pe peppercorns already in it. What you can do is you can always reduce down some balsamic vinegar with some sugar and add some black pepper to that if you've okay. got normal feta at home. But this obviously is just much, much easier. It's in there and then you get those little perfect pops of flavor as mm -hmm. opposed to the pepper overpowering yeah. the whole dish. So I want to do that. And then, wow, going to now head in for the balsamic and just drizzle some and then, oh, get that off. Drizzle some and then add some more feta so that we hide the black and again we want to go off center okay. onto the board. Now you're using quite a bit of feta here. How, how much would you recommend? This because it's crumbled so fine is actually probably not that much. That's probably okay. only about 80 grams of feta which in terms of protein isn't actually a huge huge quantity. Okay. You've just got to see how much you like or how much you don't like. The feta for me is an important part of this dish and the strawberries have quite a bold flavor mm -hmm. so I would rather add more than okay. add less. <laughs> And then we just want to finish it off with our seeds. You can see I just get my hands right in there and get all involved. And this I quite like quite a lot of because you want the, feta, the yeah. sesame flavor in every mouthful that you take. This looks and almost like a dessert to me. <laughs> Well, there, trick yourself, yeah. because we are being healthy, this is then going to be your dessert for the day, it is in fact your meal. So that is your strawberry, black pepper, um, feta and sesame seed salad done.